Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. Today is Monday. That means it's time for another book to focus on this week. Can you guess what we're learning about? That's right, birds. I'm so excited. So let's get started with our good morning song on this Monday morning. Here we go. And my friend, the bird to help. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Lara for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on friends for some learning and some play. All right, let me put my feathered friend away and let's go through our schedule or plan. So this morning, we're gonna do an emotional check-in. So we're gonna focus on disagreements. Have you ever been mad at someone and you don't agree or like what they're saying? Well, I have a song about two little birds that's gonna help you with that. And then we're gonna do our weekly investigation. Our focus text is, this is the nest that Robin built. And we're gonna read that story today and maybe make some binoculars in our project place. And of course, we'll end our day with a goodbye song or a goodbye squeeze, depending on the time. All right, are you ready to get started? Okay, for our song today, that's gonna to talk about disagreements or not getting along with someone, you're gonna need two little birds and you have them right on your hands. So you're gonna need one bird and you're gonna make a beak like this. And you're gonna need another bird and make a beak like this. And they're gonna fight and not get along, okay? The song goes like this. Two little birds sitting in a tree, two little birds who couldn't agree. When one said up, the other said down. When one said smile, the other said frown. When one said hot, the other said cold. When one said young, the other said old. When one said right, the other said wrong. When one said short, the other said long. Two little birds sitting in a tree. Two little birds, will they ever agree? Now you might have someone in your life that you kind of disagree with, maybe a younger sister or brother. What do you do when you disagree? That's right, you can talk it out. You can talk about your feelings and see if you can come to a solution. All right, so I want you to focus on a story that we're gonna watch in just a minute. And I'm gonna give you a clue about what's in that story using a letter like I like to do. It goes like this. We're going to use a big line and then another big line and then another big line up. What letter have I made? The letter N, that's right, N for nest. Nest is where birds live, just like our bird in our song. So let's watch our story together. This is the nest that Robin built. It's story time. This is the nest that Robin built by Denise Fleming, retold by Miss Lara. There once was a robin that needed help building a nest. This is Squirrel. Squirrel helped by trimming the twigs not too long that anchored the nest that robin built. This is the dog that brought the string not too long that wrapped around the twigs that anchored the nest that robin built. This is the horse that shared his straw, rough and tough, that covered the string 
not too long, that wrapped around the twigs that anchored the nest that Robin built. This is the pig that mixed the mud, oh so soft, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the strings, not too long, that wrapped around the twigs that anchored the nest that Robin built. And here is the mouse that gathered the weeds that binds the mud, oh so soft, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the strings, not too long, that wraps around the twigs that anchor the nest that Robin built. And this is the rabbit who picked the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, that binds the mud, oh so soft, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the strings, not too long, wrapped around the twigs that anchor the nest that Robin built. And these are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, that binds the mud, oh so soft, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, not too long, that wraps around the twigs that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the nestlings that crack the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, that binds the mud, oh so soft, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, not too long, that wraps around the twigs that anchor the nest that Robin built. And here are the fledglings who are ready to fly from the nest that Robin built. The End So I hope you enjoyed that story. Right now we're in our project place and I want to make a little activity with you. It's called Bird Watching Binoculars. So let's see what materials we're going to need. So we're going to need two toilet paper rolls, or you can use one napkin roll that you cut in half, some construction paper, glue, tape, and other decorations of your choice. You might need a piece of yarn if you want to hang it, but that's optional too. Okay, let's get started. So I ended up using two toilet paper rolls like this. Don't worry, they're clean. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to staple them. Here is my stapler. Now, have you ever used binoculars before? They actually make things that are far away look really close up so you can observe them. So, if we want to be good scientists and observe the world around us with our five senses, we need to have tools, don't we? And this week, I want you to observe some birds in your area. So this is a good tool to do that. So you can see I took a stapler and I just went in between and I stapled it. So now it's like this, you can look through it. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna decorate it a little bit. So I decided to make my binoculars super official. Now you can do that by using some black paint or paper, or you can use some foil and you can wrap it around so they look like metal. So here's my black paint, I'm gonna dip it in. Now I actually do have some binoculars that are made out of napkin rolls at my house and guess what I saw the other day? I saw a bird's nest. Now tomorrow we're gonna learn all about bird's nests. Why do you think that birds make a nest? I never asked myself that question. I was always told when I was little that if you see a bird's nest, don't touch it because the smell of your hands will actually make the mother bird um, not want to come back and return to the nest and take care of its baby birds. But I read that that's not necessarily true. But it's always good, you'll see tomorrow, that when you see a nest that you leave it alone because birds take a lot of time to make a nest. How would you feel if you built something and then all of a sudden someone came and touched it and played with it and knocked it down? Ooh, that would be a disagreement, wouldn't it? Just like the birds in our first song and story. Okay, so what do you think? Look a little bit like binoculars? 
<laughs> I think it does now. Of course, I like to be fancy, so when these are dry, I'm going to add stickers. Maybe I'll add some feathers so I know that these are my bird watching binoculars. Now I did poke some holes earlier. You're gonna wanna have an adult help you with this. You can use a skewer or you can just use the end of a scissor and just kind of poke a hole through if you want to hang them. Now I do, I like to hang them from my neck. That way when I'm walking around, I have a place to put them. So you can see I made a hole. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take some yarn or string and kind of put it through. Now, because I'm doing this live, I'm not waiting until it's dry, but you're gonna to wanna to wait until it's dry so you don't get paint all over your fingers, just like I have. But of course, I'm used to being messy. I am very used to paint all over my fingers. You're gonna to wanna to measure. So I pre-measured the yarn so that I just have enough room to put it on my head I'm going to tie it on the other end like this. Now let's see. Now I was surprised to learn that nests can actually be anywhere. They don't just have to be on trees. I even found a nest that was in an old shoe. Can you imagine? If you haven't worn your shoes in a while and all of a sudden you look in and there's a nest. Whew. Okay, so here are my binoculars. What do you think? You think you want to wear them and explore the world around you like a scientist? That would be so much fun, right? Okay, what I want you to do is if you still have your journal and if you make these binoculars, I want you to go around in your backyard or in your neighborhood and take a look and see what kind of birds you see. I'd be excited to see what you see if you send me a picture or a letter. And of course, our friends here at PBS are giving you these fun activity books if you include your address. Ooh, there's the address to send it to now. Hey, okay, looks like we have just enough time to sing our goodbye song, and I'll give you a preview of tomorrow's uh, activities. Okay, so let's sing. A, B, C, you later, D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya, H, I have to go now, J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z, and you are, you're my best friend that I get to see every day. Now, if you wanna come back tomorrow, Start thinking about what you might use in your backyard to make a nest. So some of the things that I brought are branches, leaves, yarn, pieces of fabric, and I brought little tweezers that I might use to mimic what a bird does with their beak to build a nest. So if you wanna do that activity with me tomorrow, make sure you bring those materials. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. Wipe the sleep from your eyes. Read, explore, and use your imagination. We'll see you next time. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.